everyone. Welcome. My name is Allison Gartner, and this is my Persuade speech for Fundamentals of Public Speaking, and today I will be talking about the death penalty. The death penalty is a form of punishment that ends in execution administered to someone that has illegally committed a crime. The death penalty is morally and constitutionally wrong, and it discriminates against people of race and different income levels. According to Procon.org, 1,188 people were executed from the time of 1997 and 2007. The method used to execute these suspects was usually with a lethal injection. There are many arguments that can go both ways for the death penalty. For example, people that argue that the death penalty is a good thing is that it's an important tool when it comes to preserving the law and it helps the victims' families with the grieving process. People that are against the death penalty argue that capital punishment has no deterrent effect on crime and that life punishment in jail is less expensive and more severe. Over two-thirds of the countries around the world have abolished the death penalty, and more than 70% of people have been executed for killing a white victim. The death penalty discriminates, and it costs more money to take someone's life than alternative sentences. The death penalty has a long history behind it. The death penalty was first established in the 18th century B.C., where more than 25 different crimes fell under the punishment for the death penalty. According to the Death Penalty Information Center, the executions were usually done by crucifixion, beating to death, drowning, burning alive, and even more brutal ways. When the 10th century AD came, the usual method for death was by hanging. When King Henry VIII was in ruling at the time, it was estimated that 72,000 people were executed for their crimes that they committed. By this time, more executions were done by boiling, burning at stake, and beheading. The capital crime continued to rise, and more than 222 crimes were punishable by death. Even stealing a chicken could put you on death row. Great Britain influenced America to start participating with the death penalty. When European settlers came, they brought the practice of capital punishment, and American settlers soon took interest on the practice of the death penalty. Limiting the death penalty soon came into play. After World War II, the United Nations adopted the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. The Universal of Declaration of Human Rights, according to the United Nations website, is that all human beings are born free and equal, and no one shall be subject to torture or to cruel, inhuman, or degrading treatment of punishment. This goes against everyone that is for the death penalty. Starting in 1984, the number of countries to abolish the death penalty has only gone up till today. Recent developments in the death penalty is that today, 32 states currently have the death penalty, and 18 states do not have the death penalty, including North Dakota. Today, the United Nations proposed that if countries still have the death penalty, that they need to restrict the use of it. Today, the deaths in the United States have recently declined. Some people think that the death penalty is a good thing and should be legal everywhere. Some arguments of why it should be legal to practice the death penalty is that if someone commits a crime, the right punishment must fit the crime that they committed. According to Procon.org, capital punishment is the only proportional sentence available and it helps reduce homicide on a national level. Different forms of execution used are electrocution, gas chambers, firing squad, and hanging. The one that is mostly used today is through a lethal injection. There are also many good arguments that people use that are for, or I mean, against the death penalty. Capital punishment does not work, 
It discriminates against the minorities. It costs 70% more money to put someone to death than it is to keep them in prison for life. The median cost per year is about $1.26 million, according to the pro-con arguments, to put someone to death. What some people don't realize is that there could be the wrong evidence that proves someone guilty, and then they are put to death. Later on, more research can be done, and there can be evidence that proves that the suspect is actually innocent. Then, it is too late because that person has got punished with the death penalty. Also, it might bring some relief to the family that lost someone, but what about the family that loses the guilty person? More people suffer this way. All in all, the death penalty is wrong because it does not solve problems. It is morally wrong and it costs more money to put someone to capital punishment than it is to keep them life in prison. Over two-thirds of the countries around the world have abolished the death penalty, and 18 states in the United States do not have the death penalty. With the information that all of you have now, we can help persuade others to act on this and to persuade others that the death penalty is morally and constitutionally wrong.